Uh, let's see how to do a GPU frame capture of Unreal 5 on Mac. The first thing is to create um, your package, so export the package. Uh, I'm using one of the Unreal 5 uh, tutorials, this is stage. So um, then if you go to find there where you've saved the, the project, you should have created an intermediate folder file. And inside there, there's a project file for Mac right and then um, I just open the project you should open Xcode this is a project in Xcode by default it should already point to um, uh, this configuration to tutorial one game in my case and then if you just run that it will uh, start the game right uh, so here's the game And now, if you go back to Xcode and you just press the metal icon, you can capture one frame. Right, uh, so this is the frame capture. Um, if you are familiar with uh, the GPU frame capture in, met in metal, this is quite nice to see um, because you have the dependencies. So you have all the commands in here on the left like in other tools like render doc um, but you have also this dependency graph and it's quite good because you can explore very quickly you just use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out you can get a, a very quick overview of everything <laughs> this is quite <laughs> impressive to be honest um, and then also let, let's see if I zoom what's going on here you get the names Compute encoder, render encoder. Um, let's see what's in there. What is this? Lumen. Um, you can see the textures, the type of uh, te the pixel format in one go with everything here. Uh, summarized. Um, well, you can see meshes and stuff like in other place. Oh wow, this is quite interesting. Um, wow, <laughs> is this the enderic light, um, what is it, the cache, what is it called, Lumen Screen Pro Gather, right, trace voxels, uh, so you can browse also from here, um, wow, uh, interesting, um, also you get uh, warnings in, in here if you're familiar with the frame capture, uh, you already know, but uh, for instance here there are five unused textures uh, unused resources So it's telling you well um, Consider not writing to this texture if the contents are never used afterwards <laughs> Rebelling dependencies uh, I don't know. I'm not very Yeah, well, but this uh, this is already set up by unreal so i'm not sure how we can improve this but <laughs> um it's telling you it's telling epic developers a uh, there's some optimizations you can do in here um what else so yeah basically this is how you capture i'm not very familiar with this but um tone map dependency well basically the dependency graph is quite nice to see in here um, I'm not sure if there's a timeline actually um, like in other tools like in render doc you get a timeline on top um, but I'm, I'm not that interested in the timeline I really want to see this graph and browse it usually in my engine is very small but this is pretty interesting um, Render and go. Gaussian blur. Let's try to find, for instance, the sky. I don't know if you can search in here. A sky. Ah, yeah. Cool. Nice. So you can you get a list of textures, common buffers, common encoders, um, and then where they are used. Submit command. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is very nice to search, right? Base pass parallel, so in here you have the sky pass, and you see I found it very quickly. Just type in here. You can also 
filter uh, by texture can you see this texture resource function pixel format and then type in here what you're looking for um, pretty impressive you, you see everything that is bound in here uh, you can also see the vertex buffer so see the buffer um, I think you can see the geometry when it's actually drawn but anyway I, I'm what else um, fragment vertex geometry oh, here post process oh here <laughs> oh well uh, what is this the sky that's a strange shape uh, I'm not sure what's going on ah uh, oh, it's the the sky dome um, what is this? Does it have a name? Uh, some stuff has some name. So, for instance, let's see the um, transmittance loop texture. Or is it here? And everything that is bound in color. Right, you can. Um, you can export this, you can save it to disk. Sky view. So sky view texture. Transmittance. Oh, interesting. Um sky view load texture. Oops. Looks like the transmittance, what? Um yeah, anyway, um, this is how the, the capture works. It's very nice to browse, but obviously there's just lots of information in here, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at the moment, but uh, you see that you, I, I found things quite easily. Um, how do I go back to the graph like that? Um, um, texture atlas. Sample lightning history. Wow, I'm really impressed by this graph. <laughs> um, and, uh, let's see the performance. Um, you get lots of stuff. I'm, I'm not very familiar. I'm, I haven't used this in Angular, so I don't know. But you can see the occupancy of the uh, vertex shader, fragment shaders, uh, kernel, uh, bandwidth, the um, arithmetic logic unit. Um, usage, um, the different, yeah, you can see the usage of everything basically. Uh, vertex fragment in here. Oh, so this is a, the timeline, right? That I was looking for. How do I zoom in? I don't know. Shaders, right? Um, Compute shaders. Oh, interesting. And these are the encoders in here. A bit encoder. The cost of everything in percentage or to do of the frame, I suppose. So, um, can I short sort it by? So, compact traces, this is the most expensive thing. What's in here? Dispatch the group. Can I jump to this? Um, counters. I look at pages. Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> it's too much information, really. I don't know how this works, but um, as you can see, I mean, the, the nice thing about Apple UIs is are, are quite nice to, I mean, it's nice to browse basically, nice to jump through the things and um, find things, so yeah, that's all from me, bye.